Hello, this is your captain speaking, and we're back with more Kerbal Space Program, and today I'm trying a new series with you guys in which I recreate an aircraft from real life, fly it around a bit, or possibly even a spacecraft, fly it around a little bit, and tell you a few fun facts about the aircraft or aforementioned spacecraft, and hopefully not crash into the ground at very high speeds, which is a very likely possibility if you've seen episode 5 of my career mode playthrough. So this is the Northrop Grumman RQ-4 Global Hawk, which is a reconnaissance plane mostly used by the U.S. Air Force. They happen to have 32 of these, while in the world total there are 42. Some other ones are used by NASA and some other are used by Europe. The first flight of the RQ-4 Global Hawk was out of Ed Edwards Air Force Base on February 28, 1998. The Global Hawk is outfitted with the Hughes Integrated Surveillance and Recon Sensor System, which is a cheaper alternative to the sensor system used on the U-2 spy plane. After the earthquake in Japan in 2011, this plane flew 300 hours over Japan returning information to the Japanese government vital to their supports of rescuing lives and monitoring the radiation levels let out by the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. NASA owns two of their own Global Hawks to study the ozone layer and observe hurricanes so they're monitoring the environment and helping the earth become a better place hopefully. The Global Hawk has set a record flight from Edwards Air Force Base to the Royal Australian Air Force Base Edinburgh in Australia. The flight was 8,214 miles and it was the first UAV to fly by itself across the Pacific Ocean. And the Global Hawk also owns the record for endurance at the altitudes of 60,000 feet in the air over Edwards Air Force Base for 33.1 hours. Now, this plane is obviously a little bit different than the actual Global Hawk. This is just my recreation of it, and I am limited by the game and the parts that I have, in which I had to make the wings significantly thicker than they actually are. They're, they're a bit wider along there, and I had to add those very, very large ailerons, or else I wouldn't be able to get it to lift off the ground. But, oddly enough, this plane flies fantastic, considering the center of mass is about here, and the center of lift is all the way back here. I have a little bit of trouble in getting lift on this thing, but it does control very well, and I very much am, I'm very proud of this craft. So thank you for watching. This has been my recreation of the RQ-4 Global Hawk. This is your captain signing off. Thank you for watching. Bye.